Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss one of the topics which we are just uh, saying that we will discuss in the next video. But today we are going to discuss that specific one. That is EUI 64, Extended Unique Identifier 64, by which actually we generate the interface ID of a client machine. So if you remember, then we uh, this this uh, interface ID is 64 bits. The 64 bits we need the, the the goal is to get 64 bits of interface ID. Now, for example, here just just for clarification or for illustration, so this is a client machine using Slack method. This client machine has received these prefix part and the prefix length. It means it has received the 64 bit from the router, but now this client machine needs further 64 bit. And now we are in search of those 64 bits, okay? So for that, what this client machine is going to do, it's going to take the MAC address of its interface. In this case, maybe MAC address of the network interface card. So you should remember then MAC address is actually 48 bits, but actually we need 64 bits. It's not complete. So what happens? So this is the first step. It takes its IP, it, it takes its MAC address. And the next step is it split that MAC address into two parts. So now this is the first part and this is the second part. The MAC address has been divided into two parts. One part is 24 bits, second part is 24 bits, but it's still this is 48 bits. We need 64 bits. So what we do, we insert FFFE between these two MAC parts. What happens? These are two MAC parts. This four-digit hexadecimal number has been inserted in between two MAC parts here. You can see here, first part, second part, and third part. So here, this is 24 bits, this is 24 bits. So you can see first part 24 bits, second part 24 bits. We inserted 16 bits in between those two parts. And now this becomes 64 bits. You can calculate it. Now this becomes 64 bits. And uh, yeah, so maybe in principle we got 64 bits and this should be the end of the game. But un unfortunately this is not, we still have one more step. And that step is, that invert the seventh bit of the first MAC bar. You see, we got two MAC address part. Here in the first MAC address part, we have to invert the seventh bit. So we have 24 bits. Yes, yeah, so we have 24 bits. What we have to do, we have to invert the seventh bit. So we actually have to have this seventh bit here. So for example, here what we have, this is shown. So we have 24 bits and we have to count from here, from the left hand side, first, second, third, fourth, five, sixth, and seventh. So the seventh is zero. So we have to invert this. It means all the remaining bits will remain same. Only this seventh bit will be inverted. It means that will be converted from zero to one. And these remaining bits, zero and one, one, zero, one, they will remain same. These all will remain same, okay? So seventh bit needs to be uh, inverted in the first MAC address part. And then whatever is uh, left with us, that will be used as the interface ID of IPv6 address, Clear? Yeah? And again, interface ID part of the uh, IPv6 address, we represent that in hexadecimal digits. So of course, these binary, the binary bits have, have to be converted back into the hexadecimal digits. But remember the steps, these are easy. You have to take the MAC address, divide that MAC address into two parts, and insert it between those two parts, these 16 bits FFE, that's fixed, insert that, and then invert the seventh bit of the first MAC address part, and then finally you will get the uh, 64 bits of the 64-bit interface ID of, of IPv6 address. So this 
was just uh, uh, yeah just word so let's take an example maybe so for example uh, this this is the client machine for example if we say that this is a client machine it has got the first part now it's looking for uh, the 64 bit interface id so it will use its mac address and this is the mac address the first step is take the mac address of the interface this is the mac address and second step is split mac into two parts so what we did this is the first part and this is the second part see just the same thing just split this mac address into two parts so we have now two parts and then if you remember the third step is insert fse between those mac parts so what we do these are two parts and insert this one in between that so this is the uh, this is the part which we inserted in between these two parts and then invert the seventh bit of first mac address part so what happened here we have these hexadecimal digits uh, so if you remember hexa means this is four bits four bits it means this is four and four eight bits and these are hexadecimal digits we need to convert them into binary so this is the first representation of hexadecimal so this is is equal to b and this is equal to a so to convert we need to uh, so we need uh, so to invert the seventh bit we need to convert them into bits into binary numbers so now this is the binary equivalent of b and this is the binary equivalent of a we converted them and remaining part will remain same and now we have to invert it means what we have to do we have to count from here so if you count from here which is one two three four five six and seven it means this this bit has to be inverted from zero to one so this will become from zero to one so we have inverted that we are done with the all of the steps now what we have to do we have to convert them back into hexadecimal digits because ipv6 address is represented in hexadecimal digits otherwise we are done we are fine with that so we converted converted them back and the remaining parts will remain as it is so up from there so we just made changes up to this part this 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 and these all bit digits will remain same so you can see this b is same because we didn't make any change in the first digit this second digit has been changed which is a and the remaining digits are as it is so we just uh, we have uh, we have written down their same so this is same and same so this part is same this part is same these two digits are same this first digit is same only there's a change in this uh, digit at the moment so we have made that change and now finally we got the ipv6 address which can be used not the complete ipv6 address but we got the 64 bit interface id of ipv6 address so this is a method which is which which we use in creating or calculating link local addresses or we also use this in slack stateless address auto configuration so both of the methods uh, they they also use this so this is how we actually calculate this is how a host machine actually calculates the 64 bits of the interface id so uh, with practice you will have even more idea uh, but at least uh, i think some initial dis discussion is helpful for you and uh, thank you thank you very much for your time and uh, yes see you in some other video related with ipv6